Have you ever wondered what it's like to visit Ireland, the land of saints and scholars? Well, let's take a journey back in time to explore the rich tapestry of Ireland's history. The story of Ireland begins with its Celtic roots. The Celts, a group of tribal societies, arrived on the island around 600 BC. They brought with them a rich culture of art, music and mythology that still resonates in the Irish spirit today. In the 5th century AD, Ireland experienced a significant transformation with the arrival of a Romano-British Christian missionary known as St. Patrick. The patron saint of Ireland, St. Patrick, is celebrated for bringing Christianity to the island, forever changing its social and religious landscape. However, the tranquility of this Christian island was disrupted by the Viking invasions in the late 8th century. The seafaring Norsemen left a distinct mark on Ireland, establishing important trade centres that later evolved into modern cities like Dublin and uh, Limerick. The next significant chapter in Ireland's history was the arrival of the Normans in the 12th century. They introduced a feudal system, new agricultural methods and even their language shaping the socio-economic fabric of Ireland for centuries to come. Fast forward to the 16th century, the Tudor conquest saw Ireland being brought under direct English control, a move that led to centuries of political and religious strife. The Great Famine in the mid-19th century, caused by a potato disease, resulted in a devastating loss of life and mass emigration. Despite these hardships, the resilient Irish spirit endured. The 20th century saw the nation's struggle for independence culminating in the establishment of the Republic of Ireland in 1949. From its ancient Celtic roots to its modern independence, Ireland's history is as rich and varied as its landscape. This historical overview sets the stage for our exploration of Ireland's culture, top spots and unique experiences that await visitors. So let's embark on this journey together and unravel the many layers of this enchanting Emerald Isle. Now you can't talk about Ireland without talking about its vibrant culture. Ireland is a land of enchantment and not just because of its leprechauns, its rich culture extends far beyond these mythical creatures and the world-renowned Guinness beer. Indeed, the heart of Irish culture lies in its music, dance, literature, folklore, cuisine and sports. Irish music is deeply ingrained in the country's cultural fabric from the haunting melodies of traditional Irish music to the foot-stomping, heart-pounding beats of contemporary Irish rock. And let's not forget the dance. Yes, we're talking about Irish dance, the heart-pounding rhythm, the rapid footwork, the high leaps. It's a sight to behold. Then there's the literary world. Ireland has produced some of the greatest literary minds in history. Think James Joyce, Oscar Wilde, W.B. Yeats and Seamus Heaney, who have left an indelible mark not just on Irish literature, but on world literature. The Irish folklore is another fascinating aspect of its culture. The tales of leprechauns, fairies and other mythical creatures are not just stories for children, but an integral part of Irish heritage that has been passed down through generations. Irish cuisine, too, is something to be savoured. From a hearty Irish stew to fresh seafood, Irish food is a delightful blend of simplicity and flavour. And of course, there's the Irish breakfast, a feast fit for a king. Sports, particularly the Gaelic games, are a significant part of Irish culture. The passion for Gaelic football and hurling is palpable, with games often drawing large enthusiastic crowds. The Irish language, or Gaelg, as it's known locally, is a cornerstone of Irish identity. Though English is widely spoken, the Irish language is cherished as a symbol of cultural heritage and national pride. So you see, Ireland is so much more than just leprechauns and Guinness. It's a land of music and dance, literature and folklore, hearty food and passionate sports. It's a land where the past and the present coexist, where the ancient language still echoes in the modern world. Whether it's a lively pub session, a gripping Gaelic football match or a hearty Irish stew, there's something in Irish culture for everyone. Our first stop is Dublin, the capital of Ireland and a UNESCO city of literature. Home to a rich literary tradition, Dublin has left an indelible mark on the world of letters. It was here that literary giants like James Joyce found inspiration in the city's streets and pubs, weaving his experiences into his seminal work, Ulysses. If you're a fan of Joyce or his modernist contemporaries, a visit to the James Joyce Centre is a must. Not to be outdone, the flamboyant Oscar Wilde, another son of Dublin, has a statue in Merrion Square Park, a fitting tribute to his wit and charm. Wilde's former home on Merrion Square is now home to the American College Dublin's Irish Writers' Centre, where you can immerse yourself in the city's literary history. 
But Dublin's literary heritage isn't just about its past. The city continues to inspire writers today, and its bookshops, poetry readings and literary festivals keep the written word alive and well. Now let's shift gears and move from the literary to the literal. No trip to Dublin would be complete without a visit to the Guinness Storehouse. Housed in the old fermentation plant of the St. James's Gate Brewery, this seven-story visitor experience tells the tale of Ireland's famous beer. You'll learn about the brewing process, the history of the Guinness brand, and even how to pour the perfect pint. And of course, you'll get to taste the iconic stout straight from the source. And for those with a taste for history, the Book of Kells at Trinity College is a must-see. This beautifully illuminated manuscript created by Celtic monks around the year 800 is one of the most famous books in the world. You can marvel at its exquisite craftsmanship and intricate detail in the old library, a stunning piece of architecture in its own right. Whether you're a literary buff, a beer enthusiast, or just a casual tourist, Dublin has something for you. So come, explore and let the city's stories unfold before you. Next, we journey west to the wild Atlantic Way, Ireland's breathtaking coastal route. Imagine a place where the Atlantic Ocean's raw power meets the serene beauty of Ireland's western countryside. This is the Wild Atlantic Way, a scenic route that stretches for over 2,500 kilometers, offering an unending spectacle of nature's grandeur. One of the most iconic landmarks on this route is the Cliffs of Moher. Rising majestically over 700 feet above the sea, these cliffs provide a vantage point like no other. On a clear day, you can see the Aran Islands, Galway Bay, and even the distant hills of Connemara. It's a sight that captures the heart and remains etched in the memory long after the journey ends. Further south, the Ring of Kerry unfolds with a panorama of mountains, lakes and coastal vistas that are as varied as they are beautiful. Each twist and turn of this 179-kilometer route reveals another breathtaking view, another moment of awe. This is a place where the emerald green of Ireland's landscapes truly comes to life. And then there are the Arran Islands, a group of three islands located at the mouth of Galway Bay. Here you can explore ancient stone forts, experience traditional Irish culture and encounter unique flora and fauna. The islands are home to the rare burren flower which blooms in this region and nowhere else in the world. The Wild Atlantic Way is not just about the stunning landscapes, it's also about the charming seaside towns like Dingle and Clifton, each with its own distinct character and charm. These towns offer the perfect opportunity to rest, explore and soak in the local culture. So whether you're a seasoned traveller or a casual tourist, the Wild Atlantic Way offers experiences that cater to every taste. It's a journey through time, history and the very heart of Ireland's natural beauty. With its rugged cliffs, sandy beaches and charming seaside towns, the Wild Atlantic Way is a must-see for any nature lover. We now move east to Ireland's ancient east, a region steeped in history and legend. The heartland of Ireland, the ancient East, is a treasure trove of tales that span millennia. It's a place where the past and the present intertwine, where myths and legends come alive, and history is etched into every stone and every blade of grass. Let's start with Newgrange, a stunning testament to Ireland's ancient past. This prehistoric monument is older than the pyramids of Egypt and Stonehenge in England. Newgrange is a place of mystery, a testament to the ingenuity of our ancestors, and a silent witness to thousands of years of history. Its entrance stone, intricately decorated with swirling patterns, is one of the most famous pieces of prehistoric art in the world. Next on our journey is the Rock of Cashel, an iconic site in Ireland's history. This impressive complex of medieval architecture includes a round tower, a chapel, a cathedral and a castle, all perched high on a limestone rock. It's said to be the site where St. Patrick converted the King of Munster to Christianity, in the 5th century. The Rock of Cashel is not just a place of historical importance but a symbol of Ireland's enduring faith and resilience. Finally, we arrive at Glendalough, a serene valley in County Wicklow renowned for its early medieval monastic settlement. Founded by St Kevin in the 6th century, Glendalough, or the Valley of the Two Lakes, is a place of immense natural beauty and tranquility. The monastic site includes a round tower, stone churches and decorated crosses which stand as a poignant reminder of Ireland's early Christian heritage. These are just a few of the top spots in Ireland's ancient east, each with its own unique story steeped in myth and history. The region is bursting with legends of kings and saints, warriors and poets. 
fairies and leprechauns. Every bend in the road, every hill and dale, every ancient stone and sacred site has a story to tell. From prehistoric tombs to medieval monasteries, the ancient east is a journey through Ireland's past. Finally, we head north to Northern Ireland, home to the giant's causeway and the filming locations of Game of Thrones. This land is a realm of myth and majesty, where the giants of old still seem to linger and the echoes of epic tales ring through the air. Let's start with the Giant's Causeway, an area steeped in myth and legend. This natural wonder is composed of about 40,000 interlocking basalt columns, the result of an ancient volcanic eruption. Or if you prefer the lore, these are the remnants of a causeway built by the giant Finn McCool. Whichever version you choose, there's no denying the awe-inspiring beauty of this UNESCO World Heritage Site. Next, we journey to Belfast, a city that has transformed its turbulent past into a thriving present. Here the streets are alive with music, art and the irresistible charm of Irish culture. Don't miss the chance to delve into the city's maritime history at the Titanic Museum where you can explore the ship's fateful journey through interactive exhibits. And speaking of journeys, we can't forget the dark hedges. This atmospheric avenue of twisted beech trees made famous by Game of Thrones is a must-see. It's easy to see why this eerie yet beautiful place was chosen as a filming location as it seems to whisper of intrigue and adventure. Northern Ireland is not just about the sights though, it's about the people, the stories, the laughter and song that fill the pubs at night. It's about the sense of connection you feel as you explore the rugged landscapes, knowing that you're walking in the footsteps of giants, kings and heroes. Whether you're a fan of Game of Thrones or just a fan of stunning landscapes, Northern Ireland is a destination you won't want to miss. So come explore and let yourself be captivated by the magic of this land of giants and thrones. So what's it really like to visit Ireland? Well, it's like stepping into a storybook. Imagine journeying through a land where history whispers from ancient stones, where rugged coastlines serve as the backdrop to epic tales, where cities hum with literary genius, and where the local pub is the heart of community life. That's Ireland for you. We've taken you through Ireland's rich history, from its ancient origins to its modern triumphs. We've walked through the cobblestone streets of Dublin, the city of literature, and raised a glass to the enduring legacy of Guinness. We've explored the breathtaking beauty of the Irish coastline, from the towering cliffs of Moha to the charming fishing villages of the wild Atlantic Way. We've delved into the heartland where the echoes of Ireland's past are most palpable from the sacred hill of Tara to the haunting beauty of Glendalough. We've journeyed to a land of giants and thrones where folklore and fantasy intertwine in the giant's causeway and the dark hedges, made famous by the hit series Game of Thrones. But beyond the landmarks and landscapes, beyond the myths and legends, the true magic of Ireland lies in its people. The Irish, with their warmth and wit, their love of storytelling and their unwavering hospitality, are what make the Emerald Isle truly shine. They have a saying in Ireland, there are no strangers, only friends you haven't met yet. And it's this spirit of camaraderie and community that infuses every corner of the country. Ireland is not just about seeing, it's about experiencing. It's about immersing yourself in the culture, engaging with the locals and embracing the Irish way of life. It's about feeling the wind in your hair as you traverse the wild Irish countryside, tasting the salt on your lips as you breathe in the fresh Atlantic air and hearing the laughter and music spill out from the pubs as night falls. With its rich history, vibrant culture and stunning landscapes, Ireland is more than just a destination. It's an experience. So, when are you planning your visit to the Emerald Isle?